Former AFL players are demanding a compensation fund after the first case of serious brain damage caused by head knocks was identified in the code. Today it was revealed WA football legend Graham Polly Farmer suffered the crippling neurological disorder CTE. The diagnosis causing anxiety among some football veterans. His football legacy was already enormous. Like, look at that mighty hand pass over here. But Graham Polly Farmer's greatest contribution to the game might actually come from beyond the grave. Researchers have analysed the WA footy great's brain, concluding he had CTE, chronic traumatic cephalopathy caused by repeated knocks to the head. It's the first discovery in an Australian rules star and could dramatically reshape the rules around concussion. What we really need to focus on is the fact that this disease is here in Australian rules football. Fellow WA legend Barry Cable remembers the bad old days when it came to managing head knocks. In my day, you got knocked out even on the day. If you felt pretty good at half time, if it was done in the first half and you felt pretty good at half time, you could go back on. Other former players fear they too have the disease. Nicky Winmar thinks he has it and former Essendon ruckman John Barnes is among more than 100 players pursuing a class action for damages. So I snap at some things I don't normally snap at. Or I forget things constantly. Even with helmets, American football concussion payouts have reached 500 million US dollars in just two years. Football associations in England, Northern Ireland and Scotland have banned heading the ball for primary school players. We're not advocating for a nanny state solution here, um, but we just want to understand the risk, work out how we can sensibly modify, modify the risk. Those on the footy field today know the dangers but say the game has come a long way. I mean, I'm not going to change the way I play. I had a really bad concussion last year and a really bad one ten years ago. Uh, and there is concerns for the long-term health of the brain. And we'll continue uh, to learn um, the health and safety of our players is paramount. While AFL players have to sit a concussion test at the beginning of each season as a baseline to measure head knocks during a game, amateurs in WA don't. Certain times it might seem like the most important thing to, to play the game on the weekend, um, but the older you get, um, starting to look back on um, certain things that you do throughout your career, it's probably not the wisest decision. Polly Farmer's daughter Kim told me they're in full support of the research and hopes her father's findings has a positive impact on the future of sport, particularly for children. A worry for parents because no one knows the extent of CTE and the disease can only be diagnosed after death. Jacqueline Robson, Nine News. Well, Dockers Greater Nine sports presenter Matthew Pavlich joins me now. And Pav, you were president of the Players Association yeah. when the AFL beefed up the rules around concussion. Did they go far enough? I'm not sure if they did, Tommy. They probably should have made some moves earlier to protect players with their heads over the ball. Of course, the bumping rule, uh, not being able to bump someone in the head or neck region, was the big shift they made several years ago. But was it enough and what did it occur early enough? I'm not sure. In many ways, it's a waiting game for past players. You had some really bad knocks to the head. Are you concerned? I am. I am concerned. I see you here tonight pretty concerned as a, as a former AFL player. I had three significant concussions even prior to being drafted and then at least half a dozen while I was playing. So uh, I am concerned about my future, what uh, this thing upstairs is doing. And I think most players, whether it's elite AFL players and or players out in the country or at amateur level, would be concerned. I think AFL players had the best of care, the best medical advice that anyone in the world could get, really. But those out there in amateur level certainly wouldn't have. Pav, thank you.